Ladies and gentlemen, let's try Gamers to come video. AMD have officially confirmed that we will indeed be seeing the Fiji XT, also known, of course, to its friends and buddies as the R9-390X, with stacked high bandwidth memory. That's right, it has been indeed confirmed via the Hot Chips Conference, which is scheduled to be taking place late August, or the 23rd to the 25th, to be more precise. And the website for the Hot Chips Conference reads, and I quote, Fiji, the world's first graphics processor with 2.5D high bandwidth memory. And it's going to be presented by several folks from AMD, including Joe Marcy and Brian Black. So, that's good, right? It means that high bandwidth memory is indeed going to be a thing. And Radeon is indeed going to be the first GPU architecture to feature it. Moreover, however, it also confirms that Radeon's R9-390X, or even the 300 range, I guess you could say, is going to be making an appearance at org in August at the very least. But most people would agree that that's far too late, and in fact, we're going to be seeing it considerably earlier, probably at Computex. This one, this presentation is probably going to be AMD wooing everyone there and saying how the industry definitely needs to start moving towards HBM and how obviously they're the first to embrace it and yada yada yada. Now I have done this as an article as well because we're going to be touching on some subjects that I've been over a few times before but if you don't know about them or you know need a refresher I've done an article you can check it out it's linked in the video description in that article. There are links to where we've covered this stuff previously, so you can check it out, as well as some uh, diagrams for more information if you so desire. But anyway, so we knew about the fact that AMD, well, we didn't know, but the rumours that AMD were utilising 2.5D actually popped up January. And this actually started when an AMD employee on their LinkedIn profile uh, actually had a description of their duties, which said and I quote develop the world's first 300 watt 2.5d discrete GPU sock using stacked high st so I'm sorry st using stacked die high bandwidth memory in silicon interposer for those who aren't too familiar with what an interposer is in its most basic it's just a set of wires that link the GPU or processor to the memory now as I'm sure most of you are aware um, typically memory the GDDR5 memory on the PCB sits around it. It could be either the front or rear of the PCB. You can kind of think of 2.5D like that. The only difference is it's only surrounding very intermediate area of the GPU. It's literally pretty much smack bang close up and there are only a couple of the chips. And there's a heck of a lot more connections to the memory than you know a standard GDDR5 chip. The next thing to remember is compared to like a uh, 3D die, where 3D dies are basically like a stack of cards. So you've got each stack of, or you've got the, the GPU itself, and then you've got each uh, layer of memory on top. Now, if you're not too familiar with it, as I said, it is an article with a much better description. You've got some images as well. So we know that AMD have been readying their products. The rumours, although this is not confirmed in this particular area, but we know at this point pretty much that there will be an 8GB model of the card. This is from uh, information from SK Helix themselves. We're not quite sure what models are going to be of the Radeon, but it's most likely that the 8GB model will both be in a... Um, water-cooled and non-water-cooled model, but the 4GB will most likely only be air. So in short... Once again, to reiterate, 8 gigabyte models, you're going to be able to get them air or water cooled, but the 4 gigabyte models from the rumors we're seeing, uh, it's purely going to be air only. So, moving away from the technical details and moving towards a very simple question is it actually required? Like, is this marketing? Is it just a way to add extra cost onto the card? Is it just trying to sell GPUs by saying, hey, high bandwidth memory this is you know it's new it's shiny hey look at me kind of thing in the marketplace or is it tangible the answer is tangible um if you were to look at comparisons of high bandwidth memory versus other dram and obviously i put that in the article but just generally speaking it's it's just profound like um gddr5 uh, times 32 
runs at about 28 gigabytes per second whereas on the other hand um, times 1024 for the high bandwidth memory obviously this is bit width you're looking at 128 to 256 gigabytes per second obviously graphics cards have considerably higher bandwidth than that like you can easily have like a 280 320 gigabyte uh, per second bandwidth card obviously depending on the width of the bus and how the oh, how fast the GDDR5 memory is clocked but you know it, it's just not enough you can start getting theoretically 400 gigabytes per second without massive difficulty on um, GDDR5 but even then it's just not enough there's like 4096 shaders supposedly on the Fiji XT it's a lot of shaders and think about it we've not only got technologies like virtual reality we've not only got ridiculously large screen sizes but DirectX 12 is going to definitely push graphics cards a lot harder and finally and probably the biggest thing as well we've also got much greater utilization of compute I mean for example compute um, and this is utilizing uh, AMD's technology for a moment liquid VR Compute on that sucker is actually going to be doing things such as calculating your headset positioning, like where you're looking. It's there to try and reduce latency, so it's going to be doing a lot more than just simply processing graphic stuff. My point being, it's going to be a lot more intensive and a lot more memory hungry. So anyway, that's one of the reasons that even 4 gigs many people were like, huh, don't know if 4 gigs is going to be enough for how big memory, but fortunately we're going to be seeing 8 gigabyte models as well. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video, I'll see you soon, take care, bye for now.